Service, I'll tell you, Frances Purdue says after growing tired of waiting for the right results from her attorney, she decided to give us a call and after we did some digging, this delinquent property is now hers to renovate or sell. And it was showing that it was still in Purdue Inc. and they had my old address there and refused to change it. Frances Purdue is new to the delinquent property flipping scene. So four years ago, she had no idea what she was getting herself into when she successfully bid on this Adamsville home. I decided if I was going to fix it up and rent it out or if I was going to already, you know, sell it to somebody else like an investor. Then her plans hit a snag. Someone from Jefferson County called to tell her someone was citing a power of attorney to claim the abandoned home, even though the owner passed away five years earlier. He's saying that she's redeemed my property to somebody or the owner. And I'm like, what? <laughs> the owner is dead. She hired an attorney to get to the bottom of it. But when she felt like she was not receiving the proper support, she dialed our number. I gave my story to your news desk. They said, we have somebody for you. I had a lengthy talk with Purdue before calling Jefferson County tax collector JT Smallwood directly. His staff investigated and found. And in fact, the individual that redeemed the property had a, had a POA, a power of attorney that had expired. So they voided the power of attorney redemption, giving Purdue the green light to move forward with buying the house. With you guys doing that, it just gives me hope that there's good people out there that care about the people. It's always a, a good, good day when you can fix something that was done illegally or either irresponsibly. Purdue is preparing to sell the property as is and turn a small profit. I have a couple of people interested in purchasing and I think that it'll work out. All because she wasn't willing to settle. Now, I will say Purdue still has to wait for the deed process to work its way through the court before her ownership of this overgrown estate becomes final. Live in Adamsville, John Papke, WVTM 13 investigates.